made him to exit out of the party. Today, Sardona is back home. I can recall one song sing by late Tanquairo, who said, and I refer to the Wazir Adamawa, they say, Kawan Tafia Dawa, Tanakia Tafia Dawa, Gawania Tafia Dawa Gidawa. And today, Sardona has gone and he has come back home. We welcome him back and we welcome all the dignitaries here present, especially the National Chairman of our great party, who come to Kano to witness this marvelous occasion. We sincerely welcome all and we. Of the PDP family nationwide and abroad, we welcome His Excellency Ibrahim Shekarao into the PDP family and all his supporters. On their behalf, I present this membership card to Senator Shekarao and all other cards will be presented to other members of his followers. Thank you and God bless you all. Ali Nyazo, Kamari Inda Shuga Banjam Iya Yapada, Yanziga Shi, Zemi Kawa, Megilma Sanata Ibrahim Shekarao, Kati Member Nakasanche wa Sadanjam Iya PDP, Kara Deshi, the Dikan Mogoya Bayansa, Megilma Shuga Banjam Iya Nakasa, Mr. Eloche Ayo Shine Bayo. Alhamdulillah, may Girma Saddam Kano, Yakar Bukatinsa, Nashed Zama, Nanjam Ear PDP. Ladies and gentlemen, let me stand on other protocol order. Today is one of my happiest days as chairman of the People's Democratic Party. Because Kano is very important for this party. PDP started life largely from Kano, for those who don't understand. It is our leader, Abba Karimi, of blessed memory, who started mobilizing all of us, including other leaders, to start a fight against dictatorship that ended up as the People's Democratic Party. We are happy that Kano has always been a place of struggle for justice, a place of truth. It is the home of Aminu Kano, and we are happy that today we are receiving one of the followers of Aminu Kano, who is an outstanding leader in the, in the party politics of Kano State, His Excellency Ibrahim Shekarao. It has not been easy because as a beautiful bride, many of us fought to win the love of Ibrahim Shekarao and his followers. I had so many meetings with Ibrahim Shekarao. My singular effort in Kano when I became chairman was to make sure that Ibrahim Shekarao rejoins the PDP family. I was not interested in any other leader. There were pressures on me to go and kneel down before other leaders who are self-centered, who are not collective players. I was interested in this great Kano son who believes in working with others. The PDP can never be built on one single individual. The PDP is a party that we build collectively. There are no individual leaders in PDP and there will never be individual leaders in PDP. Ibrahim Shekarao is a team player. Even from his speech, you will hear what he said.
that is going to work with other leaders in Kano, our father Aminu Wali, and several other leaders, because it is when we work together that we build a party that can win elections. With Ibrahim Shakaro back, a selfless man who abandoned his senatorial seat and came back to the PDP, we believe that today we can begin the process of rescuing Nigeria, rebuilding the party in Kano, and rebuilding the party in the whole of Nigeria. I am happy to say that the PDP train is about to leave the station. Those who want to join the train should jump on the train. The party is not waiting for anybody. Everybody should join on the train because this is the party that will win elections, not only in Kano, not only in Kaduna, not only in Lagos, but we are going to win nationwide. By this time next year, we shall have a federal government controlled by the PDP under the leadership of President Atiku Abubakar. So many outside forces have over the last couple of months tried to destabilize the PDP. I want to assure you all that nobody can destabilize this party. This party is a united collective party and we shall build it to be strong and stronger. And at the end of the day, we shall remain one happy political family. We are not going to be distracted by those outside who believe that by, pre, uh, by peddling all sorts of lies, they will destabilize the PDP. We are going to win Kano, and we are going to win everywhere. I want to thank all the supporters of uh, His Excellency Ibrahim Shekarao, who, has, who in spite of the rain, defied the rain, and have come here in their hundreds of thousands. There are so many outside there that you can't see within this arena. And I believe that God willing, we shall overcome all destructive forces. We shall work hard as if our life depends on it. And ultimately, if, I, I, I want to tell you all that we are going to overcome whatever difficulties we have. Our party is getting more united, and we thank the efforts of our leader, Elijah Atiku Bubaka, who has done everything possible to bring every member on board. For us, every member of the PDP is important. We are not going to say, oh, that one can go away. Every member of the PDP is important. Whether you are in your ward or in your polling booth, or you are a governor, or you are a former president or vice president, as long as you are PDP, we will do everything possible to bring you back to the family. We thank you and God bless you all. PDP, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are here today very happy to receive our leader, one of the greatest politicians from this part of the country, Malam Ibrahim Shekarau, back to our party. He left some years back. He is now back home. Malam, you are welcome back. We are very happy to receive you, to join hands with you and other leaders, to, by the grace of God, continue to reposition our party with a view of rescuing our country and repositioning it under the leadership of Al-Haji Atiku Abubakar Wazir and Adamawa come May 29th, 2023. By the grace of God, Atiku Abubakar will rescue Nigeria and we shall give him every support, all steps of the way, from campaign 
to the general election until we attain victory and ensure that Nigeria is rescued from the maladministration of the APC. Mala Ibrahim Shekaru, you are welcome back home. We praise your sacrifice. It's not a small thing for one to make this great sacrifice. And by the grace of God, your sacrifice shall never go in vain. God bless you. And wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. PDP! 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 Your Excellency, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party and former vice president of our great nation. Your Excellency, our national chairman, Dr. Yocha Yu, our former vice president, Your Excellencies, governors, of Sokto and Taraba, members of the National Working Committee and our Board of Trustees Chairman, our former governors, members of the National Assembly, but particularly our chief host today, His Excellency Senator Ibrahim Shakarau, and all those who have come to join hands with us in the PDP to ensure that we rescue our nation and give life to our people. Gentlemen of the press, I bring you great greetings from Delta State, from the south, south of Nigeria, and from southern Nigeria. And I want to particularly appreciate Senator Ibrahim Shakarau, who has made a very great sacrifice. A great sacrifice because he saw the light. He saw that there was hope only in the PDP for this nation. And he decided to abandon the ticket for the senatorial seat under the NMPP and to join hands with the rest of us in the PDP to ensure victory, victory not only for the PDP, but victory for the people of Nigeria and victory for our nation. I thank him for seeing the light in our leader, our presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar. We are very much aware that Nigeria is in a state where we appear to be very divided, we are in a state of insecurity, and things are not going well, both for the common man and even for the big man. Our education is in shambles. Our children cannot even be guaranteed a space for learning. This is not good enough for our nation. And in Nigeria of today, I thank God that our brother, Senator Ibrahim Shekarao has identified that only one man among the Lord has the experience to be able to tackle the issues in Nigeria and to deliver us into a more prosperous nation. And I thank God for this moment. I had the opportunity of sitting with him twice. I know that he's a man of great will. I is a man who was ready to make sacrifice for Nigeria, and that sacrifice has been made today. I thank you so much. God will bless you and bless all those of you who have come with him. I thank God for the leader that God has given to us for today. And I know that come February 2023, we are going to win landslide not only in northern Nigeria, but we are going to win last night in all states of southern Nigeria because we have a good candidate. We have a good man who has built bridges across our nation. We are going to deliver in the south-south, we'll deliver in the southeast, and we'll deliver in the southwest for the PDP. We are not boasting. 
when we went to Oshun State, I'm sure you must have heard about it. They thought it was impossible. But God made it possible because God has set the path for us to win the elections. And when the results came, PDP won in Oshun State. I thank God for what I see here today. A few days ago in Kasna State, we saw what happened. It is not only happening in northern Nigeria. In Ogun State, a few days ago, about three days ago, we saw a huge crowd declare from the APC into the PDP. This is going to be the same story across all 36 states of Nigeria. And I know that it is well. The sufferings of the masses, the sufferings of the people, it will soon be over. Because May 29, 2023, Atiku Abubakar will become president and all of us will work with him, including our leader. All of us will work with him and we shall help to begin to build the foundation that has been destroyed by the APC. We want to reassure you that there is light going along with us and there is hope for the future. Do not lose hope because it is well. PDP is out to bring us back to a glorious Nigeria. God bless you all. PDP! PDP! PDP!